update on um, the Marin Emergency Radio Authority. Um, these should be coming out monthly, and I just wanted to make sure um, that the board and staff was aware, or at least had the opportunity to look at this um, short or brief status report. Um, the first item is about a change order, um, which was to add multi-protocol label switching technology to NERA. Um, this is something that was introduced at a late time. Um, there are lots of reasons why this makes a tremendous amount of sense, but it's also expensive technology. Um, one of the major um, one of the major benefits of this is um, when things go wrong within the system, you don't have to go out and visit a tower. You can actually do a lot of remote access and fix the things. Uh, multi multi protocol label switching also enables video and other um, types of information to go across the lines. So again, that's something that they're looking at. It's taken quite some time. Um, there are definite benefits. There are also costs. <clears throat> um, the environmental impact report um, continues to, I would say, crawl forward. It's behind. Um, every month there's a little bit um, of movement, but not completion at this point in time. When that um, report eventually completes, and by the way, the August meeting for NERA uh, governing board was canceled due to lack of uh, any further information. Um, it'll probably push out to September before we actually get our hands on it and they can start to open it up for public comment. In the meantime, the mirror board has um, done significant amount of outreach to communities to make sure, or to hopefully make sure, that there isn't a lot of um, questioning and concerns. Um, in, in other words, they tried to get out ahead of uh, this as much as possible. Um, I've talked to Chief, no, uh, Senate, What's Chief Senate, Chief Senate, okay, um, who is, um, I guess, been at least gave me the impression that San Rafael is helping to make sure that we're taking inventory of our radios as we look forward to the new, um, um, the new radios coming out. Some of which could actually be uh, put in our hands ahead of time and do all of the uh, inventory for the new. Um, administrator, uh, Maura Griffin. So those are things that are happening right now. Again, unfortunately, there is no August meeting, so there'll be nothing to report at the next uh, board meeting. Thank That's you. it. Yep. Anything else? Can I, I ask a couple of questions about the parent? Is it really actually should have been part of um, the meeting? Is it to the board or is it to... I just, I want to understand what, what Mira it's it's not just the fire department it's also the police agencies that use this system as well yes right so so there's uh i imagine surve video surveillance capabilities uh roadway condition capabilities uh probably wildfire um i mean there's a lot there's a lot to mirror than just a radio set well <clears throat> i believe it's primarily to make sure that all agencies in County, um, including now uh, transportation agencies, um, can get on groups and share information in an emergency situation. So it's all, but what I'm saying is it's a surveillance network as well as a communications network. I don't know that. To tell you the truth, I don't know that, Stephen. Surveillance? Surveillance, video, like, I like. Yeah, at this yeah. point in time, my the roadway cameras, that sort of thing. At this point in time, I believe the technology and the current mirror does not support that much in terms of video. This MPLS that they're talking about that I mentioned before does support video streaming, um, you know, which could come in handy in certain situations, certainly. Um, <clears throat> but that is a uh, that is part of the next or considered as part of the next gen system, which is still pre-designed at this point. Well, I, I, I I'm going to be 
suspect that it, it's it's it's. Uh, I, th I think you actually do have purpose. a contact information there, so that might be a good idea to to reach them directly with that question. 